miraculous in our lives. Oh, yes. Yeah, that based on every need, Lord God Almighty, you are meeting us tonight because what you said to me that their situations shall receive life again. Amen. And so, Father Amen. in heaven, we thank you. We give you all thank the praise. You, we give you Hallelujah. all of the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the uh, privilege of just being able to minister oh. to your people, thank Holy you, Spirit. Is, Acknowledge your manifest presence in our midst. And I just thank yield you, myself you. as a vessel that you will just speak through me to be a blessing to each and every person in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. 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 Praise, praise the Lord. Amen. So let me, let me just quickly use uh, Mark, uh, Mark 5, and it's from verse 15 to 23, but I'm not uh, going to read all of, uh, all of the verses. We, we know the story of Legion and how, but that's not where I'm really going, but I want to just use uh, that to get to where I really want to go. Because we know when uh, Jesus, uh, he was able to, uh, to read Legion of the demons that were in him. And, and because of that, uh, the people, you know, the people, mar <coughs> the people marveled. And so when we go to verse 21, it says that Jesus got in the boat again and went back to the other side of the lake where a large crowd gathered around him on the shore. And that is understandable because of what he had just done, casting out uh, 2,000 demons even from, from one man and then sending them into the pigs. And so in verse 22, it says, Then a leader of the local synagogue, whose name was Jairus, arrived. When he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet, pleading fervently with him. My little daughter is dying, he said. Please come and lay your hands on her. Heal her so she can live. And so when, we, when I looked at the situation, that was a scripture the Lord gave me. You know that some of us, how many of us have cried out to the Lord about situations in our lives? And some, even, even this year alone, you can, when you started in January, when we all started in January, we, we had an expectation that, God, this is what you're going to do. We were, we were excited, and now we're looking and saying, God, I've cried out to you, and I've cried out to you, and my situation hasn't changed. And even for some, it seems like whatever they were expecting seemed to have died. But here, this man came. He says, my daughter is dying. This situation is dying, but you can speak life and she can live and so some may have been to many conferences prayer meetings deliverance services you know just the same way jarius ran to jesus seeking help we pray we fast we worship and we do all the different things and here jesus you know jesus was the, even when they spoke to jesus and now they came to him in verse 35 and the messenger arrived and he said to him don't worry the master he said the daughter is dead there's no use troubling the teacher now but Jesus even overheard them. This, it wasn't directed at Jesus. It was directed at the, at the man. But Jesus heard it. And Jesus said what? And that's the key for you tonight. But when Jesus said, that's verse 36, Mark 5, verse 36. But Jesus said them and said to Jairus, don't be afraid. Just have faith. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus stopped the crowd and wouldn't let anyone in except Peter, James, and John. There may be, right now, I don't know what your situation is, but maybe there's some people around you that are the doubters, the weepers, the, the ones wailing and, and, and giving you words of death instead of life. You know, they look at the situation, and some are even saying, you know, uh, maybe if you do this or if you do that, you can get yourself out of this situation. And there's some that are looking, they may not be saying it, but they're looking at this person's situation is hopeless but jesus said this child isn't dead she's only asleep and the crowd laughed at him people can laugh and say you think something is going to change but i want to encourage you tonight and tell you that the law says that whatever that situation is that seemed to be dying or seemed to be dead that life is going to come back and that's exactly what jesus did jesus took the uh, peter james and john and they went in and jesus told the child to arise and the, and the child rose from where she was and she came back alive. And so just as he ran to Jesus, you know, they came to him and said, don't trouble the teacher. Your daughter is dead. But Jesus said, oh no, just have faith. That's what I want you to take with you tonight. Have faith and know that no matter how it looks, 
He says, have faith. That situation is not dead. That situation can come back to life. Can I tell you tonight, don't be afraid. And the same way around you, take, don't, don't hang around doubters. Hang around the faith-filled people. You know, some people are dream killers. And so the only thing they want to do is pour more water in a dying flame instead of trying to fan life back into that flame. But tonight, the Lord says what? Well, life is coming back to that situation that seems like he's dying or that may seem like he's dead. We see the situation of Lazarus. Lazarus had been in there for four days. He stunk. But no matter the stench, Jesus can bring back a beautiful fragrance out of something that is dead. And so tonight, that's what I have for you. And I just want you to understand that he says what? That we seems to be dying, that life is going to come back into it. Right. And, no ma- and even though it's when in November, it does not mean things cannot change. It doesn't right. matter how it started, how far you have gone, but just remember, he is the miracle working God. His name is Yahweh. You know, there's another song I like by Jesus Culture. It says, I believe in you. Why? Because you are the God of miracles. The one who makes the blind to see is moving right here in our midst. And so I encourage you tonight to have faith in God. Don't, don't give up. Don't become so discouraged that you feel like God has left you behind. He cannot. Yeah, I always say that. I think every time I try, I say the strength of Israel does not lie. Do I have my own challenging situations? Of course I do, but I believe in the sovereignty of God. And I believe that when he speaks, he's more than faithful to bring it to pass. And so concerning your life, it doesn't matter what, uh, what has happened. It doesn't matter where you are at the moment. It takes him but the blink of an eye even to change a situation. The man that had been there for 38 years at the pool of Bethsaida, he never would have believed that that one touch from Jesus was going to turn everything around. And I just shared this quick testimony with you. I met a lady four years ago, and I think I spoke on delay is not denial. And at the time, she came to me and she said to me that, you know, she's been looking for a child for 16 years. And she said, but that message uh, ministered to her about delay is not denial. And she had asked me a question about can she do the intro? fertilization thing and I said you know God is using it to meet me because delay is not denied does not mean God cannot use that God gave doctors wisdom and she tried and then two times she she was going to give up I said no from that four years ago her name stayed in my prayer room every time I'm praying I sit on the board and I kept bringing God into remembrance for her they celebrated 20 years of marriage this year and she's pregnant and when she told me, I was so excited. I said, I'm believing for twins. I said, even though it's late, God has done his work in her. And she called me, sent me the sonogram, twins. Uh, God gave her twins. 20 years of waiting. 20 really? years. But we serve a miracle working God. And so it doesn't matter how long. I want you to believe that God is faithful. And tonight, he may have been, you may have been online many times before. And God has spoken into your life. Hold on to the word. You know, when I get into moments of uh, despair or discouragement, I, I bring God into remembrance concerning his word over my life. And so I want you to be encouraged. And I want you to know that God is still in the miracle working business. There's no situation too hard that he cannot, he cannot fix. With him, nothing, absolutely nothing shall be impossible. Sometimes you can look in the natural, but I'm telling you, if you use the natural to determine your destiny, you are going to miss what God is trying to do in your life because God doesn't, it's not confined to the way we think and neither does he work the way we expect. His ways are not our ways. And so concerning your life, you cannot figure, the minute you figure God out, then he can't be God. And so I just want you to be encouraged tonight, even as we, even as we go into, into the time. So, Father, I just thank you so much for this word. Uh, there's been an excitement even in my spirit for a few months. I tell them at the church, I said, I'm celebrating what I don't know, but I know that God is moving and God is doing something. And so I just want to thank you for everyone online tonight. And I want to thank you, Lord, that, you know, you said that surely there is an end and our expectation will not be cut off. 
Holy Spirit, I'm just a vessel and you say to me, if I open my mouth, that you are going to fill it. And so I, I just trust you tonight that you are going to encourage the people, even mm-hmm. that's online today. And God, you are going to meet their expectation in the mm-hmm. mighty name of Jesus Christ. So mm-hmm. Father, we bless your name and we give you praise in mm-hmm. Jesus' name. Deborah was going to minister to you first before, but then... Uh, Sister Viola came to mind. So I'm going to I have something written down for Deborah. That will send me back into what I need to tell you. But let me just tell you, uh, Sister Viola, this is Austin Uche's husband, Pastor Uche's uh, wife. And so this is the first thing I saw. I saw, uh, I just saw you and you were preparing food. You were preparing food. You were setting a table. Uh, let me get my thing. I said I'm going to try and read record it also. Uh, so you were, uh, this is for uh, Sister Biola Austin Uche. And here, this is, uh, you know, I, uh, the first thing is I saw you, uh, I don't know why it's not recording. I want to try and record it, but let's see. Yeah, I don't know why my memo is not working tonight. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's a uh, hold on for me, please. I'll get back to it. But I want to make sure we have double recording tonight so that uh, it's not, uh, there's no issue. Uh, let me get into it. Okay, uh, so let me, yeah, so this is for you. Uh, okay, Sister Biola uh, I saw you, you were setting up a table. And even as I look, you know, as I saw you doing that, you had the tablecloth, you had the uh, the napkins and everything. And you were setting this table in preparation for uh, for some kind of, uh, um, I don't know if you were trying to entertain, to, uh, trying to entertain some people. So this is what I, I believe that I'm hearing is that uh, you're coming into a season of ministry. Okay, you're coming into a season of ministry. And even as, as I saw you there setting that table, you were preparing to meet with some people. And I also believe that there's go- you're going to have some kind of a fellowship. Uh, with, uh, you're going to have something uh, like, a, a, like a women's thing that you're going to do. You're going to gather some women together and have some kind of fellowship. And that's what you were setting, even the place for. And I hear the Lord say that, you know, there may have been delay. And there may have been, it may have seemed like everything is delayed and things seem to be stagnant or seem, uh, things seem not to be moving, even as you have an expectation. I hear the Lord say that, don't be discouraged, my daughter. He said, in the midst of all of this, even I am working out my perfect will for you. And he says, I bring you into that season and I can reassure you and encourage you that even 2020, the doors that are going to open for you, they're not going to be doors that you prepare for, says the Lord, but they're just going to be doors you walk into. It's almost like there are opportunities even that will open up for you. And so, Father, I thank you even for that. And I see the word encounter. And uh, it's almost like you, there's, there's a connection. There's a connection for you. Even in, in 2020, you are going to go for some, you are going to do something. And and, and while, you are, while you are there, you are going to meet this person and that person is going to be instrumental to a step in the destiny. This person is going to be used even to open doors even for you, even concerning ministry. I see something on the phone. I, I, I see something uh, that you're also doing on the phone. I know that's what you're doing now, even with, uh, with Pastor Uche. Well, I see like where you are right now, like a few of you are gathering together on the phone, even maybe weekly. I don't know if you're studying and you're, you're, you're praying, but I know there are women and you are on the phone and, and you all pray. I don't know if it's 30 minutes or one hour, but it's something that's on a weekly basis. I even see the word Tuesday. I don't know if it's something that's going to be on a Tuesday. I really don't know. But I see that there's something there that's going to happen. But I want you to be reassured and I want you to be encouraged, even that uh, the best is yet to come. And the fact that uh, you are not forgotten and that God is still working it out. But I do see you putting something together, uh, like some kind of meeting or so. I, I, I see like a fellowship, something that you're going to gather some people together and you are going to be the one ministering to these ladies where you are even right now. And so, Father, I just thank you for this season. 
where my sister is. I just thank you, Lord, that uh, your promises, they are here and amen in you, and you have not forgotten her. I thank you, eternal Father, that you are still fulfilling your purpose, even concerning her life. Thank you even for this uh, group of women coming together, maybe weekly for 30 minutes. I, I really am not sure of the time. I just thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are going to make it clear even to her. And thank you for this table that she is setting, even uh, to minister to people. And I also want to say thank you, my eternal God, for setting a table for our family in the presence of, our, of their enemies. And their cup is going to run over. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that even that people may have looked and people may be saying, for how long? This God, this God, this God, for how long? Father, I thank you, Lord, that uh, at the end of the day, people are going to stand in awe even of that which you are accomplishing in her life and in the life of her family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, I thank you even for that, and I give you praise. I thank you that you will manifest your anointing and your power even in her life. I thank you, Lord. And I hear the Lord say, be bold to pray. Be bold to pray for people. Be bold to pray for people. Don't concern yourself even with whether... Uh, it's going to happen, but you just be bold, even to pray for people. I just see a um, door of ministry that is opening. So, Father, we thank you for my sister, Biola. I thank you for what you are. You have accomplished so far and for what you are yet to accomplish. I give you all praise and I give you all glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are our healer. You are God who heals from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. I release the healing virtue of God over her spirit, soul, and body in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. And Deborah, when you were when you were leading the opening prayer, uh, the first thing I saw is like you had on a wrap around skirt. And then you took, and it's almost like somebody took that wrap around or loose the wrap around and gave you a different skirt. And this is what uh, I believe I'm hearing with that, that God is, uh, God is doing something new that uh, is, removing, uh, is removing some kind of garment and giving you a different one. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you even for, even for my sister right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, it says in the scripture, you know, that the day will come when they will hold on even to the skirts of an Israelite and will say, you know what, I want to serve your God. And I hear that you are coming into the season where God will start to manifest his promises in your life. And even as he, as he does that, then people are going to say, you know, this God that you serve. This God has doing this. We want to know this God because the Lord, I hear the word showcase, showcase, that the Lord will showcase you. I don't know exactly uh, where you are, what is going on, but I want you to be encouraged that God is getting ready to do something new. Thank you for the garment of praise. Thank you for the garment of praise in, in place of a spirit of despair. I thank you, Lord, because she's a tree of righteousness. She's your planting, and you will be glorified in her life. And even as I pray for you, even right now, Deborah, it's like I see you knocking your hand on the table and it's more out of frustration than anything and this is what i hear that the, uh, the season of frustration is over in the name of jesus christ i thank you lord for the release of joy the oil of joy even over her life in the mighty name of jesus and i don't know exactly where you are whether in the room or somewhere and i want you to take a step forward for me just uh, get up wherever you are and if you, even if you uh, just take a step one step forward for me and let me know when you've done that take a step forward take a step forward deborah and so um and so father in heaven i thank you even right now for that step i thank you lord that yeah thank you i thank you that that step is a step in the right direction i thank you lord that that step is taking her uh that she she's not stuck that she's not stuck but she is moving forward even to fulfill that which you have called at you. I thank you, eternal God, that the prayers, I, I, I see like in the night, it feels like sometimes you agonize. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you, Lord, for, uh, for prayers. 
for tears. I thank you, eternal God, that whenever she's shed a tear or so, it's been in your bottle. And so, Father, thank you for opening the book of remembrance, even concerning her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you right now for acceleration even in her life father i thank you lord there's no more stagnancy thank you that she is moving forward even as she took that prophetic step that father in heaven is a step forward that from now she's moving and she's going forward that there's movement 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 even in her life in the mighty name of jesus christ i thank you for sweet fragrance even that's uh, that's going to come out of her even for to uh, to people around her in the mighty name of jesus christ i thank you for ability to dream ability to dream Thank you, mighty Father, for many, many dreams ahead that she's going to wonder, why am I dreaming so much? Eternal God, I thank you for dreams. I thank you for destiny dreams. I thank you for dreams of correction. I thank you for dreams that, uh, that will give clarity, even concerning situations, even in her life. So, Father, we bless you. We give you all the praise. I see the book. I don't know connection to a book, but Father in heaven, I just, I just thank you even right now, like there's a journaling that turns into some kind of book. And so, Father, we just thank you for that which you are accomplishing and that which you are doing and where you are taking her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we give you all praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Thank you once again for Deborah. Thank you for what you are, you are accomplishing. We give you all glory and praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Amen. Amen. Our Amen. great God, we worship you. Amen. Thank you for Abimbola. Thank you for Abimbola. Our Father in heaven, I thank you for Abimbola even right now. And this is the first thing I see. Uh, it's like, as I, as I was saying your name, uh, I see like an umbrella is open to cover you. It's like it's been raining and that umbrella was to become a shield. And I hear the father say that even concerning you, always remember that I am your shield. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. He says that uh, no, uh, no matter how uh, things may look, remember I'm your shield. And he says also I'm your exceeding great reward. I don't know what the things had that you have done that you were expecting a return or you were expecting some... Um, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I should use the word compensation, but you were expecting something even to come out of it. And he says, remember, I'm your exceeding great reward and that you are not forgotten. Even concerning that in the name of Jesus Christ, I see you moving and even as you are moving, that umbrella is following you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that there's no fear. There's no fear. There's no fear in love because perfect love casts out fear. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I come against the spirit of fear that, uh, that may want to try to come against you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we banish fear. Even right now, in Jesus' name, I, re I release the faith of God into your life. That, and, I, I, and I pray right now that the words that you speak, even concerning any situation, will not be coming out of fear, but it will be coming from a place of faith. Just as the Lord said, uh, do not be afraid. Have faith in God. And thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, even for being a shield even uh, around her. I thank you for compassing her with songs of deliverance. Eternal Father, we bless you even right now. I thank you again that no weapon that is formed against her life shall prosper. Any tongue that rises up against her in judgment, we condemn even right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you that there shall be abundance. There shall be abundance. There shall be abundance even in her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal God, we bless you. We give you praise. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. It's like the sound the sound of victory, the sound of victory. Mm -hmm. And so, Father in heaven, we thank you right now, even for the sound of victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless your name and we give you all the glory. We give you all of the honor. There's something about the hands of this person. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that those hands are blessed. Those hands are meant to make wealth. And it's you that, uh, that gives us the power to make wealth. And so, Father, even right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I 
bless her bimbolous hands and I say, Father, the idea, the idea, the idea, the idea that is there to create wealth, that that will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you even right now, it's like as in the spirit and prophetically anoint your hands even right yeah. now. Thank you, Lord. Anoint his hands to prosper and to increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why do I see graphic? I see something to do with graphics. And so, Father in heaven, I bless you even right now for creativity. I thank you. Uh, th th there's something about, uh, about visual, things that are visual co uh, concerning this person. And so, Father, we thank you that the hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all the glory, give you all of the praise. Thank you, Lord thank you. Jesus. And I pray rest over you right now. Rest. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray rest over you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I release the peace of the Lord over your life right now, Bimbola, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for peace and for rest. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And for Shaggy, thank you, Lord. Hendre Makosha, Hendre Masiki, Hendre Makashiki, Hendre Makurabas, Satan. Thank you, Father. Even for Shaggy, even as your name says Shaggy, which is Oluwa Shaggy, I don't know what yours is. Oluwa Shaggy, God is the one who gives a victory. And you know, there's a song that uh, uh, the the thing that is giving me victory. Tree, I will lift his name higher, Jehovah. And so right now, I just hear the word that God is giving you victory. And I see you like you have a bowl in your hand. Thank you, Lord Jesus. At first, it seemed like there was water in the bowl, but it wasn't enough. There was that was in there, but it wasn't enough. And, and then I look at it and it is full. And, and, and it's full and is that you pouring it out. And I just remember the situation of where they brought water to David. When David said, you know, I wish somebody would go to the wells of uh, Jerusalem and bring me water. And they went and brought the water and he couldn't drink the water again. He said, because of the risk they took and he just poured it before the Lord. And this is what I hear. That even, you know, as that thing is full and you were pouring it out, I hear that you will come into a season of abundance. And it's not only... Uh, you know, God will give you enough so that you can be able to pour into the lives of other people. I don't know how well or what you're doing right now financially or otherwise, but I hear that you are going to come into the place that that bowl will be full. It's not going to be like it's almost empty, but it's going to be full. And so you're going to have more than enough is what I hear. It says, I'm going to give you more than enough. I hear the word faithfulness even concerning you. And I hear the father is saying something about faithfulness, that even in the times that it was not easy to do certain things, but you were faithful, you commit, is that you commit to something and you try to do it. And so I hear the word that even in that faithfulness, shall I reward you even says the Lord and so father I thank you even right now thank you I see I see like you're on the road you're on the road and you're you're, you're going and the trees around but as you're walking it seems that like you're walking by yourself but the, well, you were not walking by yourself because the Lord was there and this is what I hear that even for you my son I'm bringing you into a deeper place thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even I will bring you into a deeper place. Even in me, says the Lord. He says that we're coming into a place even of, uh, of getting to know each other more. Uh, you know, we can always know the Lord more. And so he says, I'm bringing you into that place of, of deeper intimacy even with me. And so, Father, I pray right now even for him that uh, as he comes into that place, I hear the word revelation that you will reveal more of yourself even to him in the mighty name of Jesus, that he will grow deeper and that, Father, out of the overflow, 
many more lives even will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for the depth that is all right. I hear the word, the depth that is already there, but I thank you for the deeper place. I thank you for the deeper place. And I thank you for the increase, even that is ahead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you. I, I see prayer. I see prayer. I thank you, Lord God, for prayer. I thank you for the ability to pray and to stand in the gap, even for others in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all of the praise. Thank you, righteous Father. Thank you, righteous Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Aqua. Thank you, Father. I see you. Uh, I see Aqua right now. It's like I see you swimming. Thank you, Lord. I see you swimming. And it's as if, uh, you know, you start from the shallow end. And as you as you're swimming, you get into like a middle point, And you, it's almost like you got tired. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Like you just got tired and you just, you just stay there and say, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. And so this is what I hear. And even it's as if as I'm talking about you now, I can feel a, a place of pain. Mm. Like a, a place of pain and this is what i hear when you got to that point and you say you can i want to pray for strength for you right now that you will not give up i don't know what the what it is but i just saw you in the middle like you had been coming you know it was a shallow place but you were swimming 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 and you got to that place and you're like i can't but you're already midway so it's you can just keep going you understand you, uh, so you need to keep going it's not the time to give up and it's not the time to say, you know, I'll go back to where I started in terms of your swim. And because I hear the Lord even say that, you know, even I will propel you forward. He says, even you, you will not, you know, you will not swim against the tide. You know, when you swim against the tide, then it's hard. But it says, even now, the wind of my spirit will carry you. It's going to take you through, even in those uh, challenging situations, uh, even in the challenging times. Thank you, Lord. There's a place in you. There's something in you that's also crying out. And saying, God, I want to know you more. God, uh, is, uh, God I, I need more. I need more of you. I need you more now than yesterday. And I hear the Father say, even in those moments, there are even times you, uh, you've not, it's not like you were praying about something, but in your heart, there was something you were thinking about. There's something that was going on, even in your mind. And as you think about it, God has come through for you. And you are even saying, you know, and I didn't really pray about that. And he says, because I know you, I know your heart. And I want you to be, assured, uh, to be reassured that even in the times that you feel like you're alone, that you are not alone. He says, even because I am there with you and he wants you to know that he will always be with you. And that even when you are weak, then you are strong. Why? Because you are moving in his strength. I look at you like the, the story of the footprint where the person uh, just says, you know, Lord, in, in the moments where I became so tired, I saw only one set of footprints. I didn't see uh, you were no longer with me. And the Lord said, no, those were the times I carried you. So the footprint that you saw was my footprint, not your footprint. And so I just want you to understand that he carries you in those moments. And just say, encourage. There's a pain. There's a place of pain even in your heart. And so, Father, you are the healer of the broken heart. You are the healer of disappointments. And so I pray right now for Aqua that where there's been disappointment, that God, you will bring back hope even into her life in the name of Jesus. And where she seems to be tired, that you become, you will become her strength, that you are going to carry her in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you that with the eyes of faith, you will see where she's going. She will not look back. She's not going to look back, but she's going to continue to look forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, strengthen her for this next leg of her journey in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory and the praise in Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just hear the word laughter. I hear the word laughter. I just see, I, I even see the word written right in front of you. And I hear that you are going to laugh. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I hear that you are going to laugh. It doesn't matter. Like, but, you know, some, God looks down at the enemy and he laughs. And that's what I hear, that you are going to laugh. And Abacot is coming to me. You know, when he said, you know what? Although the fig tree will not blossom, neither shall there be fruit in the vine. The labor of the olive will fail. There shall be no head in the store. Even if there is no meat, yet I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Because in the Lord Jehovah, in the Lord Jehovah, in the Lord Jehovah is my strength. And he's going to make my feet like hinds feet. And you know the hinds feet is what stabilizes. And I hear the Lord say, he's going to make you to walk upon those high places. I don't know what your situation or circumstances, but he says, well, you know, when Abacock said, I said, even if everything fails, even if everything around me fails, because if there is no olive, there can't be any anointing, or if there's no meat, there can't be sacrifice. Yet I will rejoice. And that's what I hear. And I hear the word, you shall laugh again. I don't know what your circumstances, but I hear you shall laugh, even says the yes. Lord. And so you will rejoice. He's going to make you to walk upon those high places. And mm. you will rejoice in the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that she is going to rejoice in you. And that even if everything around her fails, she's going to rejoice in you. But you are telling me that she will laugh, that she will laugh mm. again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, when the, uh, when the angel came and told, uh, when they told Sarah, that Sarah, you are going to have a child. And Sarah did what? She laughed. She laughed. She laughed. But did that stop God from doing what he had to do? No. They say, say by this time next year, Sarah would have the child. And Sarah laughed, but God did what he had to do. And Isaac became what? Laughter. And so I hear the Lord say that you are going to laugh. I don't know concerning yeah. what the situation is, but so Father, I thank you for Abiola. I thank you, Lord, right now that no matter what it is, even if everything seems to be failing, that you say she's going to laugh and you are going to bring the pieces together. You know, in the beginning, I hear that in the beginning, that the earth was without form and void. Darkness covered the face of the deep. But what did God, God say? Let there be. And so I hear right now that let there be, let there be stability in the midst of chaos. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I hear the Lord say, even where there's been darkness, let there be light. And so, Father, concerning her life, let there be light. Let, let stability come. Even in the midst of that chaos, let something good come out of it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you that sounds of rejoicing will be heard in our home. I thank you eternal father that you say she will laugh and so mm. i decree that she will laugh i decree mm. laughter will be a portion mm. in mm. the mm. mighty name of jesus christ mm. i thank you lord god almighty that in the midst of all that's uh, that's happened that she will start to see the light at the end of the tunnel mm. now mm. in the mighty name of jesus that she'll start mm. to see that amidst that chaos you were still working out your purpose that she mm. will start to live out uh romans 8 28 that we do know that all things work out together for our good because yes. she loves you and she's called according to your purpose. And so, Father, mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, that you're working mm -hmm. everything out perfectly. And she's going Amen. to sit back and she's going to laugh. And so, mm -hmm. Father, we bless your name. Eternal mm -hmm. God, we give you all the praise and give you all the mm -hmm. glory. Even right mm -hmm. now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I mm -hmm. thank you, Lord, for Olaide. Thank you for Olaide. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, eternal Father. I give you praise. Indre makoshan de rindre makoshan da lindre masika lindre makoraba. I see you climbing. You know, like how they have a palm tree, and Olaide, you're climbing, and then uh, it's like you get to the palm, you get uh, you get to the top to to you know, like take the coconut or something, but it's almost like you fell short. The hand did not go all the way. 
to get it. But you were very close to getting it. You were on that tree and you're looking, you're frustrated, but the hand is like the hand of the Lord stretched your hand. Hallelujah. In the natural, you couldn't get it. But the hand stretched your hand and you reached it. So I don't know what it is you've been trying to reach. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. But I hear that God, the finger of the Lord, you know, God's hand is going to, is going to stretch your hand and be your helper, even to get you, even to, uh, to be able to reach that and to get it. And so, Father, I thank you for the fruit that should have come through for her, even in her life. I, I hear, the, I see the word seed. Thank you, Lord. Uh, it feels, I also feel like, uh, you know how you sow? You sow and you sow and you sow. And you're like, ah, but I, I mean, God says you should sow and you, uh, you, you know, you reap and this and that, but I'm not getting anything. But I hear this, you know, like we said, the death situation is going to receive life. He said, you know, the seed may have died, but it's going to bring forth life. It's yeah. going to bring forth life. And so oh, I, just, I, I just thank you right now for Lydia. I thank you, Lord, that it's not going to be difficult because it's not going to be by her might or power. It is going to be by your spirit. That you are oh. the one that's going to propel her. You are the one that's going to help her to read that which she's trying to get hold of. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eternal God, I thank you. And I see also, I'm thinking of... Um, Ishmael's mother right now, you know, when the baby cried out, uh, the baby, you know, she needed water for the son. And God didn't even, it wasn't the cry of the mother that God heard. Scripture says God heard the cry of the child. And then he opened the eyes of the mother and she saw the well. And there's something that's around you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ that you've you, it's been around you but i i just thank you right now that god you're opening our eyes to see god is opening your eyes to see i don't even know if relationship is concerned in any way but is that there's something around you that should be beneficial to you but you don't see it and and part of this sometimes is a preconceived idea or notion of what it should be or how it should be. I don't know, but I'm just speaking what I hear. I don't have the clarity of it, but I hear, I pray that God will open your eyes so that you can see and that the well that is right in front of you, that mm. God will help you to see it. Amen. That what you're looking for is right there and that God will open your eyes so that you can see it and you can perceive it well. And know that this is it. And so, Father in heaven, I just thank you even right now. Thank you, Lord. That uh, I mean, she's crying for something, but the answer is right there. And so, yeah. Father in heaven, I just thank you that uh, she has the clarity of that. She's able to receive that which you have in the, in, right in front of her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, yeah. Father, we thank you even right now for Lydia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that the scales have been removed. Amen. And and that she can see, in in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. There's something about you know Funlola, uh, Funlola. You know the the thing that just came to me is when Elisha. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, uh, not uh, when uh, it was with the uh, the servant and the and the servant saw all these chariots. The, the enemy that was coming against them. And he said, my father, you know, that look at all this. Uh, and, the, and he said to him that, and he prayed that God will also open his eyes so he can see that the ones with them, they are more than the ones against them. And I don't know the people that have been, that have come against you. Indrema shoka, indrema sekilaba. That may have come against you, but I'm hearing that those for you, they are more than those for them. Yeah, and, God, and, and God is saying to you, be, be rest assured and relax that I with you are more than those that may be against you. I hear accusing tongues. I'm hearing the word accusing tongues. Mm. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you even right now. Even that, then people may be meeting or talking. You say they gather and it's not of you. They're going to scatter, even for her sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 
I thank you, eternal God, even for her and for what, uh, what you're doing. And, and as I'm praying for you, Funlola, it's like how you see a car. You know uh, how they cover the car because uh, they don't want um, the sun, I mean, to, uh, to fade the paint. And that's what I see. I see you like a car. And I see the hand of God uh, take off the covering take off the covering. And this time it's not the covering from scourging, it's the covering that's covering you from being the full, the, walking in the fullness even of whatever God is trying to accomplish in your life. And so Father, I thank you for removing that which has been a cover over her, her life and what you are trying to accomplish. I thank you that her star is going to shine. I thank you Lord that uh, she's going to be noticed. I hear the word noticed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're going to be noticed. And I see you work. I don't know exactly what you do, but uh, it's like you're working towards a building. You have, you have a almost like a briefcase in your hand, and you're working towards that building. You're going in there to do something. Thank you, Lord Jesus, even for, for what she's going in there to do. Like you had piles in, in, the, in that briefcase. Thank you, Lord. I don't know exactly what you do, but I think something is going to drop in your laps also in terms of that, that you are going into that building. You go in there for something, but you come out with something else. You didn't plan for it. You know, it was just an opportunity that fell on your laps. And so, Father, I thank you for this opportunity that is going to be financially beneficial. Even to, uh, even to Funlola in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that she's going to realize that you, that, is, that God who is with her is greater than the ones that are in the world. And I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that her hope is in you and that she can rest in you. She will not be afraid, but she will have faith in God, even concerning our life and concerning what you're accomplishing in the name of Jesus. I hear the word reassurance. It seems like you're the type of person, you know, like Gideon that will say, you know, God, show me a sign or God do this or God do that. And so Father, I'm praying right now that, uh, that you will show her a sign to let her know that right now, even as we talk, that that which you have spoken concerning her life is of you. Give her a token, even for good, that those who see her will know that she is blessed of you. And I hear that I am your shepherd and you have all that you need. And so do not worry about those, uh, the, uh, the accusations or, or the mockery, the mockery, even that people that may come against you saying that we are, uh, oh, we, uh, Fulola, we, uh, what, are, what has happened, what has God done and all of that. But I just hear him say that I, I am for you and nobody can be against you. And I thank you, Father, even for the blood of Jesus Christ, even that covers her. Thank you for the blood that covers her. Father, we bless you. We give you all praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. And for Bola uh, Ol 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 or something like that. Bola, I just hear the word covenant keeping God. That you know it says yeah, the covenant keeping God and there is no one like him. And so right now, I just want you to know that God is a covenant keeper. I know that you know, but I want you to be reassured that God is truly, truly, truly a covenant keeper. And that what he has promised, what he has spoken, that God is going to bring them to pass. I want to come against a doubt in your life. I want to come against the spirit of doubt. And Father, even right now, I just pray as we come against that spirit of doubt, that instead of doubt, that faith will arise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see the travel. I see travel. I see, I see travel. So uh, you're going to take a trip. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, sometimes, you know, we want to take a trip and we're saying we need all the resources to come together. But I hear that this is going to be a blessing even to you. And that everything is going to come together even for that. And so, Father in heaven, I want to bless you even for, uh, for Bola, even right now, even concerning her life. And I hear, I, I, it's like I see, the, I see the sky. Thank you, Jesus. I see the, the sky like opening. I see opening. 
opening, opening. God in heaven, I thank you for opening, open doors. I see open doors even, uh, even before you, uh, Bola. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I see doors. I, it's like, as I look at you, you're walking towards the door. But as you're going towards this particular door, you are shifted to the other door. Almost like there's a door on the left you're trying to go through because you're so sure there's a door. But I see the Lord shifting you to the door on the right. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you even right now for making clear that door that you are opening, she will not enter a counterfeit door in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you that the door that you have for her is a door that she's going to open. And this is what I hear also, um, Bola, that even concerning when you look in the natural, it may be something ahead of you or something right now that you are still deliberating about. When you look in the natural, even concerning these two doors, the door that's not for you seems to be more profitable. And the door that's not the one that God has for you seems to be, you know, like the, the one that glitters and it looks like it has to be the perfect door. It's going to bring me a lot of blessing. But this is what I hear the Lord say, that even the door that does not look like the profitable door is going to bring you a lot of reward in the end. It may start small. I, I'm talking as I hear, but I want you to keep the words. And when, you, when it starts to make sense, you will get it. You know that it may, it may be something that seems to be starting small, like the door. When you walk into this, oh, this is a small door, uh, this and that. But as you walk into that door, then you're going to see that ahead of you is a greater door. But you don't see that door until you walk into the small door. And so I want to encourage you that that weak glitters is not, it's not gold. You understand? I don't know where this is going to play out, but I'm hearing the Lord put that caution in there. That don't look at the momentary reward of something to make a choice. That that which doesn't seem very uh, in, uh, inviting is the one that be right behind it is a greater door. And so, Father in heaven, I just want to thank you right now for Bola. I just want to thank you for her, that when she has to make decisions, they'll be made based on your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why are you uh, disquieted within me? Thank you, Lord Jesus, that whatever it is that may be paining her heart, whatever it is, Lord God, why thou cast down is what I hear, oh, my soul. Father, she will not be cast down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you, Lord, that she is going to arise. She is going to raise her head tall and even walk in that. But I just pray, Lord God Almighty, that she is not going to enter a counterfeit door in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that that which you have purposed for is exactly what she is going to do in the Amen. name of Jesus. Eternal God will bless you. And I hear the word Israel. And I, I believe that God is going to give you a burden for Israel, even to be praying for Israel. And you are going to be saying to yourself, I, I don't know this Israel thing. Why is that coming to me so much? But it's a body. You're coming into a season, even where God will start to drop nations. Thank you, Lord. Indrema Kosha, Indrema Siki. Drop nations in your, on, on your heart to pray for. And thank you, Lord, for that which you are doing. Thank you for the door that you are opening for her. We give you all praise and glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, righteous God. We worship you. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Miracle working God. Thank you for Bolanle. Thank you, Lord. Uguntade. You are the miracle working God. Father, do the miraculous in Bolanle's life. In the name of Jesus Christ. That which man says is impossible to accomplish, Father, make it possible even right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you. I hear the word, I will restore. Mm. It says, I will restore. That, that which has been taken away, I will restore. And so, mm. Father, I pray for restoration even right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that that which the enemy stole. Mm. Thank you that that which the enemy stole, that God, you are restoring a hundredfold. You are giving back a hundredfold to her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see here also, Bolan Leda, sometimes you see 
and you seem to want to take stock of your life and you'll be saying to yourself, I shouldn't be here right now. I should have gone further than this or this and that should have happened. But I want you to be encouraged that God is not unaware of what you may have passed through. Mm. It says, even I want you to remember that even when it seemed like you were in that desert place, did I not bring water for you? Even when it seemed like you were in the wilderness experience, did I not make a way for you? And so I hear the word that there are testimonies in your life, that there are things that God has done, and you know that this is God who did that. And so he's saying, why don't you remember those things, even concerning your situation? Why don't you remember my finger in those moments where you were in such despair, where it seemed like nothing was going to work? but then I came through for you. And he says, so if I did that for you, would I not do it again? I'm the same today, yesterday, and for, I'll forever be the same. But that is what I'm hearing. He's the miracle worker. And you see, even when he says what, that when gross darkness covers the face of the earth, that the light of my God will arise. And so it may yeah. seem like a dark place. It may seem like, how shall I find my way? Or how is everything going to change? But in the midst of that is how God is going to magnify himself, even in your life. And this is what I hear, that out of the challenges, out of the, because you've passed through the you know you've passed through the waters but you did you know it didn't overflow you is what i hear and he says that upon mount zion there shall be deliverance in as many as we call upon the name of the lord and you have called upon the name of the lord you have called upon him and i hear that he's going you know even though you've been in the fire but you know like the uh, like the hebrew boys as you've come out of the is you know that nobody is going to smell the smoke even on you because god is going to perfect everything and you are going to look back you are going to sit back and you're going to be thankful that god it was a rough road but i thank you because you brought me through and now i have a testimony to the power of God. And I can now be able even to tell others about him and what he has accomplished even in my life. And so, Father, we thank you right now for Bolan Lehi. Thank you, I thank you right now. Thank you for Julie. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I hear the word rest. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Wherever thank you. you are, uh, Julie, I don't know if wherever you are, if you're not sitting, I want you to sit real quick for me. Just sit. Thank you, Lord. I'm thank you for rest. Okay, thank good. You. So, you know, when you sit, it means you're in a restful position. You're in a restful yes. state. And the, and the word says we're Jesus. seated with Christ in heavenly places. You know, above the principalities, above the powers, above the challenges, even that you may be facing, that you are seated with him. And I'm praying rest for you. It's almost like, it's almost like you have become restless because of situations. Uh, one minute, yeah, I believe God. Then the next minute, oh God, have you forgotten me? And then, yeah. you know, you are going back and forth. You believe, then you don't believe because things are not lining up. And things are, you know, it, it seems like you're saying things are falling apart. God, God, things are falling apart. And you need to do something about it. But he says things cannot fall apart when I'm in the center of the affairs, is what I uh, hear. And so uh, yes. I want you to be, uh, to be encouraged and to know that things cannot fall apart. It may only, it may look like he's seemingly falling apart, but it is not. And you can see, when I think of David and all the things that David went through, the scripture says that David was moved, but he wasn't greatly moved. You may be moved, but I hear you will not, uh, you will not be greatly moved. And I see you, is that you're trying to put your, your feet in water. Then you bring it out and you say, oh, it is cold. But I want to pray boldness over your life right now. That even the things, the steps that you are supposed to take, but you're a very cautious person. You are, it's almost like you're logical also. That when you want to do something, you need to see some things line up. And then because of that, you, you, you know, the faith 
you, you cannot exercise the faith, even that you have. But I'm praying right now for boldness and even concerning your life. I hear the word prophesy even over your situation. Prophesy uh. even over your life. And don't allow the enemy to take from you that which God is doing. That those things that God has spoken into your life, the things that God has spoken to you, even in those moments that you see them, it's like now you see them and they're not, you know, things are not coming together. He, he wants you to, to say what you know is that like somebody needs healing and then you you know that god is the lord who heals instead of the person say oh uh, i'm sick oh this is happening you are god who heals me and that's why you need to sit in that place of authority that you cry uh, you carry in christ and yeah. you know you you have to be able to say you know what you know the person says what i am god who heals and so you're able to say i am the lord that heals in this provision is my provider he owns the earth and his fullness so why would i lack and that's what I'm hearing the Lord say, that you have to arise above that your situation and you have to start to speak life into the situation. It's not that you haven't seen the hand of God move in your life. It's not that you don't know the promises of the Lord. But this is what I'm hearing him say to you, that you need to start to trust in the Lord. And, and I hear, it's like I see you sitting and you're looking, you, it's like you have the word of God, you have the Bible, and you're just looking almost for, uh, for a few minutes there. You're looking, but it seems like you're not getting an understanding. And so this is what I'm praying for right now, that God will give you the understanding of the word of God, that God will take Amen. you into Amen. a place where you'll be able to understand what he's trying to say to you and that the Bible will come alive in a new Amen. and in a fresh way, even for you in the mighty name of Jesus. That it's not just about reading, but it's about getting the understanding. You know, it's one thing to know, but it's one thing, uh, it's one thing to believe, but it's another thing to know. We all believe that Jesus is our savior. We all believe that Jesus is the healer. But when I know that Jesus is my healer, then I don't just... I don't just believe, but I know and I know that no matter what I'm facing, I know that he can see me through. Do you understand? Yes. Because yes, a lot sir. of people can profess and say it, but when it comes to the time of, I mean, the real test of time, they no longer know that he can do it. And so, Father, I thank you right now, even for my sister, Julie. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are challenging her even to believe the word. You're challenging her even to speak the word. You're challenging her even to come into a place. And when you read the word, I want you to just say, Spirit of God, give me an understanding even of that which God is trying to show me. Uh, you know, the manner of yesterday is not going to be okay for today, is what I hear. And so you are going to be able to say, God, you have to show me in a different way. I want to know Jesus in a different way. I want to know him, you know, in ways I've not known him. It's like a diamond that you see one facet, then you're seeing another facet. Just like the children of Israel saw him in many ways. And that is what I believe is part of your challenge. There's something new God wants to do. Uh, mm -hmm. you, we cannot be at ease in Zion, is what I hear. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you, Lord. You're bringing her, you're challenging her, even to go into that place she hasn't been before, even in you, that she will get an understanding that she's not had before, a new mm -hmm. level a new level, even yes. in you. And I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that she's going to be able even to use the word of the Lord to wage war, even against the wiles of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you, Lord, that she, she will no longer be moved by that which she sees because those things are temporal, but she'll be moved by that which is eternal. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Father, we thank you once again for Julie, that you thank will have you, your Jesus. way. Even Amen. in our life, we give you the Amen. praise. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord, for Tokwe right Jesus. now. Thank you for Tokwe, my eternal God. Thank you for Tokwe. I thank you that even her life is worth giving thanks to you for. Because if not for grace... Mm, if not for grace and if not for mercy, she may not even be here. And so, Father, I just want to say thank you to you for her life. I want to say thank you for your grace over her life and thank you for your shield. Even when the enemy did not want her to be here, but you have a reason why she's here. 
And I thank you that you are fulfilling your purpose, even in Topaz's life. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are, you are, uh, you are taking her somewhere. Topaz, this is uh, something I see very strange. It's like how somebody has a basket. You know, you can't put water in a basket because uh, it's going to keep uh, dripping out of the basket. And this is what I believe I'm seeing that even for you, it seems like uh, sometimes your work has gone unrewarded. Almost like you've tried and you're doing it, but it's not coming together. And, and the things are not falling in place. Almost like, okay, I'm doing 100% of this, but I'm getting a 10% return. And so right now, going forward in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray the heavens will open over you and that your work will not go, no longer go unrewarded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you are not stuck. You are not stuck. So where you are right now, talk about, I want you to stand, take a step, just not take a step for me, just your, pick up one leg and move that leg forward, even for me. And so, Father, I unstuck her feet, even right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, that she's going to move forward, that She's going to, yes, thank you, Lord God, that she's going to, she's no longer stuck. She cannot be stuck in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for the success, even that you have, even ahead of her. And I thank you, Lord, that she's walking into that success in Jesus' name. Why do I see a vehicle? Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know somewhere down the line. I don't know if it's a desire of yours, but I see a vehicle coming to you coming to you i see god blessing you with that so father in heaven i just thank you how you're doing it i don't know but i thank you even for making that available to her in the mighty name of jesus i speak that which i see and i believe you for it she may have one and she just needs another one or doesn't if god blesses you don't need it you can bless somebody else but i just hear that god i just see that god is going to bless you with a vehicle and so father in heaven we thank you even for that even right now and i see a rope mm. i see a rope and with that rope, it seems like you was tangled up. But right now, you are, you have the rope in your hand, and you are on. You know, it's almost like all of a sudden it makes sense to you, and you're untang untangling the rope. You are you are, you are bringing. You know, you are just losing, and it was coming very easy to you. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you for a season of ease. A season of ease, even for Tokwe, even right now in the name of Jesus, that that which was tangled up, you are losing right now, that she is able to find the solution, solution, even is coming to her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we bless you. We give you all the glory. We give you all of the praise in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Father, even for joy. Thank you for joy. Joy, I just see you dancing and twirling. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for joy. Ththank you, Lord God Almighty, that that which has been uppermost on our heart, that God, the answer, that you have the solution and you have the answer for her right now in the name of Jesus. No counterfeit, the real thing in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, that she is rejoicing. And I thank you, eternal Father, that you are connecting her. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The right connection, the right person, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we just bless you because it's a season to rejoice. It is a season to dance. Thank Amen. you for her business. Thank you, Lord, for her business. Thank you. Joy, I hear there's another idea. The same business, but God is giving you a, a, a kind of insight, uh, a new way to do an old thing. So that's what I hear. A new way to do something old. Uh, your business, but I believe that God is giving you insight to do something different. He's going to give you the idea on how to do it, and that's going to propel your business. And so, Father, right now, I just want to say thank you even to that which you are accomplishing in, in Joy's life. I thank you for that which you are, which you are doing. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. And I, I, I see also with you, Joy, that uh, wherever in your environment, uh, people will come to you. Somebody can come with a situation. They want to talk to you. They, it's like God is going to make them gravitate even towards you. 
even to where you become like a friend, a confidant, and you are going to start asking yourself, why is it me that they want to talk to? Why is it me? But I, I, I pray right now for the wisdom of God to manifest. Every time somebody comes to you with a, with a situation, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that all the pieces, it's almost like the puzzle, the missing pieces, Joy, they're coming in. You're finding the missing pieces in your puzzle. And you're putting them at the right place, the right spot, and they're fitting perfectly. And I want to encourage you that you're going to look at 2020, and, you're going, and it's going to be like, wow, those things that took me so many years, they're just all falling in place in one year. And so, Father in heaven, I just say thank you for that. Thank you for that which you're doing with joy, and thank you that you are manifesting even the answers, even to our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we give you glory, we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Thank you for Florence. Thank you for Florence. I just, uh, the first thing that comes to me, fragrance, 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 fragrance. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for new fragrance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for new things, even uh, in the life of Florence. Hallelujah. Eternal God, I just thank you even right now. So uh, thank you, Lord. I don't know why with you also, I see like food. Mm. I see, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, even for that. And let me just say, I don't know exactly what you do, but I just hear the word. I see the word catering. I don't know what that has to do. If it's you or you are going to be connected with somebody who is doing that. But Father, I just I want to say it as I see it, something catering. I don't know. But I just want to thank you even for Florence right now and for what you're accomplishing even in her life in the name of Jesus Christ. And, they, and I see also like a chest, like a chest of something that has been, uh, that it's almost like it was lost. Like something you're looking for, you cannot find. And all of a sudden, you see the chest. And you're able to open it and take the treasure, even that is inside it. And so, Father in heaven, that we seem to have been lost. Or that which she's been looking for, the answer she's been looking for. I thank you, Lord, that now the treasure chest is opening. And she can take the treasure even out of that in the name of Jesus. And I hear the word reward reward thank you father for rewarding her hmm. for rewarding her hard labor i hear hard labor thank you lord even for bringing reward even to to situation and to labor even in her life in the mighty name of jesus christ i thank you even right now that uh, she's one who questions you a lot she's one who says god this god why this god why that god this and that Thank you, Lord God, that you're bringing clarity, even concerning situations that she doesn't have a full understanding of in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And even there's a connection uh, for now or later. I see like a very young person, very young, maybe 10, 11, uh, standing beside you. Thank you, Lord. Hindre Makora, she, she's in uniform. The, the girl is in uniform. She's about 10, 11. And then you, you put in your arm around the shoulders of this person, but that there's a connection between you and this person that I see. And I just hear that God says to you, be, uh, be calm and be comfortable. Somewhere this person is going to be connected to you, even if they're not right now. And you're going to be the one playing the major role, even in the life. I don't know who the, the girl is, but there's a girl connected to you about 10, 11. She's in uniform, like in a pinnacle for uniform. And so, Father, I thank you for the connection between uh, Florence and, the, and this girl. I thank you right now, Father, even for their lives. They're connected. I don't know. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Don't know if you have any kids or not. But this girl is connected to you, and you're going to be the major. Uh, they're going to have the major impact. And so, Father, we bless you even for that which you are doing even in the life of Florence, even right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And I also, uh, yeah. Yeah, apart from the girl, I also hear my male. I see that God is going to, to uh, use you, even with, uh, with young people as well. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, God is going to create an avenue for you to impact young people as well. 
But this particular girl that I said that there's a connection between you two. But God will, uh, will connect, you know, God is going to use you and connect you to young people, even to play role. I don't know if you are going to end up even, I don't know if it's like, uh, you know, not, not like, ad you know, they do adoption to where there's paperwork involved. But uh, it's not like there's any paperwork involved, but like how you can, it's like now I have adopted kids, kind of, that I just, you know, that I'll just take care of, you know, maybe in Kenya and different, some orphans and all that, but not like I physically adopted them. But I just see that coming in your life where there's certain people that will become like adopted children, even to you as well. That you just say, God, I'm going to extend myself. And I just pray that the resources will be there for you even to be able to accomplish that for God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So Father, we just uh, thank you for the life of Florence. I just say thank you even for the life of Florence. Thank you for the new fragrance that is coming out of her in Jesus' name. I, I see the word impatient I, I, and I'm laughing, you know, because I, what I see is, uh, you know, that sometimes there's something you need and it's almost like it's got to be done right now, right now, right now. God, you have to do it right now. And so I just hear, you know, that uh, the Lord just says you should, you should have faith and to be patient and to see what he's accomplishing and to see what he's trying to do. Even in those moments that you don't see, don't allow frustration and don't allow, uh, don't become discontent with where you are and with what is already done, but just to have patience and to wait upon him in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, I thank you as you unfold this in the days ahead, even in the life of Florence. Father, we bless you, your name and we give you all praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm Bosset Day. I've not ministered to Bosset Day, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Father, I bless you even for a busted day right now. Thank you, Lord. You know, there's a, there's a song. I, I don't know if people know Bishop Gallantin, but there's a song he, he came up with, you know, and the song just says, I believe all the words you've spoken, I receive, I receive it, Lord. Here I send upon your promise, I believe. I believe it, Lord. And I believe that's for you, Abba said it. I believe all the words that you have spoken and I receive it. And I hear that that is what the Lord is saying to you. That believe the words that I have spoken and receive and receive those words and know that I'm bringing them to pass. And I hear you and I hear, you know, uh, also there's a song that says, take me past the outer court. I as the cry of your heart, you know, take me into the holy place, pass those brazen altars. Lord, I want to see your face. I believe there's a yearning in your heart. There's a place of thirst, even for more of God. There's something in you that's crying that whatever it is that you have right now, is not enough. When it comes to God, it's like, like you are thirsty. You are thirsty even for, for more of God. And you are just saying, God, I need much more than what I have right now. And so, Father, I thank you right now for releasing more, even into the life of uh, Bosa, even right now. I don't know why I see the word curriculum. I just see the word curriculum. Like somebody putting something together. I don't know if you're involved with teaching in any way, but I, he, I see here that there's a teaching gift, even uh, that, that's in your life that's unfolding itself, even though you may not realize it or, or right now, you know, but it's unfolding gradually, and you're going to find yourself up operating in the teaching gift and uh and so when i see that curriculum something that uh, you're going to end up later putting together why do i see the word dance also i see the word dance thank you lord jesus christ you know somebody it's almost like there's a gift even for dance you know people who choreograph uh, you know, using worship, you use a worship song, you choreograph the moves. And I, I, I believe that there's a gift even there for you as well. You know, so Father, I thank you right now, even for, uh, for our boss today, that she can believe the words you have spoken and she can receive even that which you have for her life. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, for that yearning and for that cry and the desire of our heart, even for uh, even to know uh, to to know you more. I see the word worship also. I see you as a worshiper, uh, one that uh, that loves to adore God. And so, Father in heaven, I just thank you that more you seem to be leaning more towards. Uh, the spiritual aspect of her life. And so, Father in heaven, we just thank you for that which you are doing with Abba Sede. I thank you for the cry. I thank you for you fulfilling our heart's cry, even for bringing her even into a, uh, a deeper place for, for fulfilling the thirst, the thirst. Father, for filling her, for filling her afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for the fountain of living water. It's like you're sitting under the fountain. You're sitting like at a waterfall and the water is just uh, falling on you. The water is just falling on you. And I hear the Lord is saying, you know, there's a fresh, uh, he's going to, you know, bring a fresh wind over you. It's like the water is washing you and cleansing you and just uh, bringing a freshness even into your life. And so, Father, in heaven, everything that needs to be washed away, I thank you right now that that has been washed away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, that increase. We are bringing her into a fresh place, even in you. I pray for fresh baptism of the spirit and fire, even over her life, even right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for do those of ministries, what I hear for you. Thank you for that teaching gift that will start to manifest itself, even in her life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we bless you and we give you all the praise. We give you all of the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Eternal God, we worship you right now. Thank you for Olu. I thank you for Olu. Thank you, Lord. Indre Makora, Shindre Mekila, Bana Sondre Makoshkile Binasa. Thank you, Lord, that she is a, uh, this Olu is a body bearer. Mm. Body bearer. I see. I see you like. Uh, I see somebody. You know, you are you are walking, and this person is carrying a load. The person is carrying a load on the head, heavy load. And you are, you know, you just went and said, let me help you to put that down. And so this is what I believe also that you are going to be, if that's not something that's on your heart, you're a burden bearer, that you are one, you know, that you have a heart of compassion that will reach out to somebody and say, wow. you know, if there's need for help, let me help in the way I can help you. And I, I want you to, uh, to understand now that God recognizes that there's so many other things, even that you have done in, in the closet that nobody knows about. But you have a heart that's crying out that God, if you would just bless me, if you really, really, really bless me, I want to be a blessing even to humanity. And so that's what I see you doing and, and in your own way, you are just reaching out. Even if, even if it's a little thing, you are a giver. I see the word giver, that you are one that wants to give, even from that which you have. And the Lord says that even because of your heart to give, I can trust you with resources. And I see that resources will come into your hands. And it says, I can see, I can can trust you with resources because I know that you will use it even uh, even to to bless and even to uh, even ju uh, just to meet the need even of other people. In I thank you, Lord, that she's not consumed even by herself. I see fabrics. I don't know your connection to fabrics, but I see that uh, you're going to be connected to fabrics. And so, Father in heaven, I just thank you right now, even for that which I see concerning fabrics ahead of her. I thank you, Lord God Almighty. It may be a business. There's a business ahead of you, but there's a connection to fabrics. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you that you will unfold that even in her life. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, even for that which you, you are doing even in all loose life right now. Thank you for giving her a heart of compassion, a heart like Jesus, even to become an extension even of the hand of Jesus to those that are weary and those that are in need. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And I see also the word wisdom. I see wisdom. Because there are times that... Uh, you want to do something and God is probably saying, don't do it because God is dealing with the situation himself. And I just pray that 
uh, you will have the wisdom to know the ones that you are called to, the ones that you're not called to do. And so, Father in heaven, thank you right now even for Lou, and thank you for blessing her to be a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for holding her hand. Thank you, Lord. I hear God say that, uh, you're not, I don't know why he's saying that, but let me just say it as I see it. As I hear that you're not alone is what I hear. Is that somebody is holding your hand and you're working with that person. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that she's not alone. I thank you, Lord, that she's not alone in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you for also the companionship. I don't know what that is. But Father, we just worship you and we bless you even right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you again, Lord God, for Cordelia. Thank you for Cordelia. Karushke dene muskariski la pina sukarabasa tela. Endre ma khoshi kerindre ma kora surakandre ma khashiki lendre ma sikalabad. Hey, thank you, God. Even I hear, even I hear the Father just say, even my daughter, even concerning your life, there's been. Uh, it's been like, sometimes it's been like a whirlwind, is what I hear, like a whirlwind. But even I hear, it says, I am the master of the storm, and I'm going to bring total calmness. And I'm saying, be still, peace be still, even is what I hear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you for stillness and calmness, even in, uh, in her life, in the name of Jesus. Eternal God will bless you. And I hear, uh, even I see, thank you, Lord. There's, I see the word solution. There's a solution. Uh, there's solution to a situation that's been, uh, that's been, uh, it's been nagging, is the thing like it's been a nagging situation even in your life, and I, I and I see that there is a solution that God is bringing even your way. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are sitting there and and you have a book open, you have a pen in your hand, and it seems like you are calculating stuff. You seem to be writing and you are calculating and putting pieces together. And I hear this word, it will, it will make sense to you eventually, it makes no sense to me, but you are calculating almost like one is adding up stuff and you're looking at it, but when you look at it, it's not going to add up. The things can't add up. But I'm hearing the Lord say that I will balance it for you. I will balance the account. I don't know what it is. It says I will balance it and everything is going to add up. Not because of what you can do, but what I will supply is what I hear. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you right now for Cordelia that whatever it is, maybe it's in the future, it's now that needs to be balanced, that you are going to balance it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you are hope and you are present help, even in the time of need. I thank you, Lord, that she's not going to lack anything good. David said, once I was young, now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor see begging bread. And so I want that scripture to be alive in her life. She will never beg for bread, neither will she lack anything good, even in her life, in the name of Jesus. The, peace, the things are not balancing, you are balancing them, even in her life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, the tears. I see tears. I don't know what the tears were for, but I thank you, Lord, because I know that those tears are in your bottle and so father in heaven i thank you even right now for joy that's coming out of that situation in the mighty name of jesus christ so father we bless you and we give you all praise in jesus name and i think i have just one more person which is baba tuji thank you father endre makosha nikeri drema sukalabana santre makilaba in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. It's like, as I pray, I see a long table before me, about to you, and I see like you have a paper, a long paper on the, and you are drafting something. Uh, you know, like, it's like you're making a blueprint to something. You're just there and you're drafting. There's an idea. There's an idea that is, uh, that God has given you or God is going to download to you. Uh, and you, you, just, you just have the paper there, you have your pencil and paper, and you're just drafting it. But this thing is going to become 
a major thing. It's going to become like a, a, a consulting situation where God down, is downloaded this thing and you're putting that pieces. It may even already be an idea that's in your head that you're saying, you know, if I can do this and I can bless many people, I can, I can put out the idea and I can be able to tell other people about what they can do concerning this or what they can do concerning that. And so I'm praying right now that that blueprint that God has for you, even concerning the idea that, uh, you will have clarity as to how to put all of the, the pieces like a flow chart, a flow chart of something, even together. Father, I thank you. And I, I don't know if you, you know, uh, love technology or not, but Father, I just thank you that uh, this flow chart is going to be some kind of solution to a need and to, uh, to a present problem. I thank you, eternal Father, that you are giving him the idea. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, even that your hand is upon him. I thank you right now, even in the spirit, I touch his mind. I touch his mind, even, uh, even to make all these things clear. And I bind his mind also to the mind of Jesus Christ, even to where instead of being, being negative about what is not working it can be positive and you can see your hand in it so instead of saying the cup is half empty you can say the cup is half full in the mighty name of jesus christ and so father we i just thank you even for that and already uh baba tunji i i, I see also already that is like when uh, when there's a situation that somehow you are able to have an idea of what that uh, solution should be. It's almost like a, like a Joseph type of situation to where you are somewhere, but uh, somehow God uses you even to help to find a solution. And so, Father, I pray that you'll always put it where there's a need, that only him can fulfill that need in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you for the days ahead. I thank you for bringing together that blueprint of, of, of that which you are trying to do, even in his life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, I thank you for increase. And I thank you for the increase anointing. I hear anointing. Thank you for increase anointing, even over his life as well in the name of Jesus. Thank you for many, many doors, even that you are opening. Thank you, Lord, for platforms. I see that too, that you are opening for him. The opportunity is to be able even to speak and to speak about you and to magnify Jesus Christ. Eternal God will bless you even for his life. We bless you even for that which you are accomplishing. And I want to say thank you again, Father, even for Pastor Austin. I thank you even that as he reaches out, and normally you will come, you'll be the first to come to my mind to minister to you. But now I see this is what I'm hearing, Pastor Austin, that the Lord is saying. That even sometimes when you look at your life, you seem like you've lagged behind. And you seem like, God, am I the last on the list? Even I know the people that we started together. I know the people that I was ahead of. But now it seems like I'm lagging behind. But this is what I hear the Lord say. He says, no, you are not lagging behind. He says, I save the best for the last. He says, even concerning you, even, uh, you know, uh, he's bringing to me when Ahab was in the chariot and was going and Elijah came and ran past that chariot. And he says, so even that which I'm doing as I accelerate the season, even for you, that which you yeah. talk, when you thought you were behind, you're going to just see yourself in the forefront. And you're going to start to see opportunities even open up for you that you yourself, you are going to say, wow. Uh, so all these things were there before. He says, because what? There's a time, there's a season for everything under the sun. And I make all things beautiful, even in my time. And he says, even my son, I have seen your faithfulness and I've seen your unrelenting effort to please me. And the father even says, even in this season, even in this, as you walk into even the new year, he says, I am going to reward you and I am going to make manifest even those things that have been, uh, that have been in the dark where people did not see. I'm going to let the light of my, you know, the light of my glory, even that is upon your life, I'm going to let it shine. And I see you coming into a season 
of of being invited Amen. even to even to different places, even to Amen. be able to to go and minister and even to be able to talk. I see you that you, you may be talking to one person and you don't even know how important that person is in the kingdom of God. But you are just sharing, you are just uh, moving in your simplicity. But whatever it is that you are sharing, that person is taking the stuff in and they're going to open doors for you. I see, may, I see many, many opportunities opening up for you that way. Just because you're just sharing and you're being you. But in the midst of you doing that, God is using it to propel you forward. And so, Father, I thank you for new season for my brother, I thank you for Pastor Austin. I thank you for propelling him forward. I thank you for making him run past the chariot. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, even for opening doors for divine encounters, for, uh, for him meeting people that are going to be instrumental, that are de uh, destiny helpers, even for him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we thank you even for tonight. I thank you, Lord, because your word will not fall to the ground. I thank to Lord, that there be a performance even of the words that you have spoken, even to your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, even as the year is coming to a close, I thank you that because we dwell in your secret place, we're going to continue to abide under your shadow. We can say that you are God, you are our rock, and you are our refuge, you are our God in whom we trust. Let the beauty of you, our God, be upon them and establish the work of their hands, the work of their hands established. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, where there's been lack financially, thank you for bringing financial increase even into Amen. their lives in Jesus' name. Where there are bills to be, to be paid, where there are debts to be uh, to be obligations to be met. Eternal God, I'm thanking you for providing them with the needed resources, even to meet that. Thank you for yes, even, even debt cancellation. Thank, thank you for you, favor, Jesus. where they're not thank even you, looking Jesus. for favor. Thank you thank for you, seeds Jesus. that have been sown, that you are bringing <clears throat> forth Jesus. much fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you for precious, Lord God Almighty, for doors, 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 and opportunities you, opening up in the mighty name of Jesus thank Christ. You, Jesus. So, Father, we bless you for tonight. And I thank, thank you Jesus. for giving me the opportunity Amen. even to be able to pour into your people. Father, we give you praise. We give you the honor. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank hello, ma. Yes, hello. Good. Sorry, ma. Please, could you pray for my husband? He's here. His name is James. Okay. And also, ma, uh, we have uh, Oyeme in the house, and also we have Lovet, and we have Olumi, Olamide, Oyeme, Lovet, Olamide, and we also have Precious in the house. Lovet and uh, Precious and Olamide. And, and the James. Okay. And James, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Oyeme, Lovet. Oyeme, Lovet, Precious, Olamide, and James. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. And somebody said, my husband, pray for my husband. Yes, yes that's James. Okay, James. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Eternal God, I just want to say thank you for James right now. Thank you. I thank you for new connections. Even as I Amen. called your name, I thought of the disciples and how they had Peter, James, and John that followed Jesus, and they were the inner circle. And this is what I'm hearing. You know, there's some uh, there's some relationships even in your life that uh, God is taking out of your life. And there's some new ones that God is joining to your life. And so, mm -hmm. Father in heaven, I just thank you even right now for new relationships. And this relationship, they're going to be pivotal to what, uh, what is going on even in your life and to where you are going and to what you, you are supposed to do in the mighty mm -hmm. name of Jesus Christ. And mm -hmm. I see you. And even as I look at you, it's like I see you, uh, James. Uh, you are trying to open, you know, like how they have a job. And then you are turning the lead. 
You just keep turning the lid because you're trying to open it, but it's such a straw. It's just not opening. It's just not opening. And so, Father, right now, I thank you for giving him the strength to accomplish that which he needs to accomplish. Uh, even though it seems like he's not going to open. You know, they have... Uh, it's like sometimes I'm trying to open a lid and I can't because I have, you know, like very uh, little fingers and I'm trying to open and I can't. Then I have this rubber thing like uh, silicone. I put it on top of the lid and I turn it like that and it just opens. And so solution is what I want to pray for you. That even in the way it seems like it could not open, it seems like you could not attain it. It seems like you could not get into the place. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Why do I say you could not get into the place? Uh, it seems like there's a place you're supposed to get into that you could not get into. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you even right now for, for the helper that will help to get him into that. Just like how I use that silicone to open that lid, he's going to be able to open the door that needs to be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in heaven, we, just, we just bless you for that. I thank you. I, I just pray for uh, finances. I don't know why. I just want to pray for that also, that you will give him much more than he needs. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father for bringing Amen. more than is needed in the Amen. name of Jesus. Eternal Amen. God, we bless you even for this home. And I thank, thank you, you also for, I want to just pray concerning communication is what I want to pray. I just want to pray for communication in the home that God, you give them that each other's friend and they communicate very well to where, mm -hmm. you know, they, they understand each other, that they're listening they're listening as they as they talk they're listening to what is being said in the name of jesus christ amen. and just in the, father we just thank you even for thank this you, new amen. level of communication even in the home i thank you eternal god that you have joined them together and they cannot be put asunder i thank amen. you for the peace of the lord even in their thank home you. and i thank you for increase i thank you for enlargement you. in the you, mighty amen. name of jesus christ amen. father bless them Bless. I, are you both together right now yes ma'am yes, ma okay can you hold your hands for me please okay ma and so father even i thank you right now that even as they as they're holding each other so i thank you that you are you are doing so, a work in both of them yes, thank you that you are doing a work in both of them and thank you for, for for friendship Thank you for friendship. Thank you that they, they are each other's friend. And I thank you, Lord God, that that which they are both crying out to you for, the God that you are meeting that need and you are manifesting Amen. it in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, Amen. we bless you and we Amen. give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Lord. You, God bless you. Thank Amen. you, Lord, even for Onyeme. Thank you, Lord, for Onyeme. I thank you, eternal God. This is what I see, even as I pray for you. You know how they do talk of war? That they have one on one side, one person on another side. And they're, you know, they're, they're two teams, and they're pulling the rope. And the stronger team tends to pull the other team. And that's what I hear. It seems like uh, there's been a tug of war. And this is what I hear. I hear the Lord is saying, that I'm giving you the strength to pull the rope onto your side, to, to win the situation. I don't know what it is. As he says, you know, but I'm giving you the strength you need to be able to pull and to win even this tug of war. That's been something that's been going on. And so, Father in heaven, I thank you even right now, even for the victory, even that's ahead of Onyeme. I thank you for that victory, even that is ahead of her in the mighty name okay. of Jesus Christ. And even I see like there's a, there's a suitcase. And as you, you carry the suitcase, you open the suitcase. And then as you're going through the stuff, you find that there's something in that suitcase that probably you've been looking for for a long time, but you did not know was there. And so right now I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ that that which seem, you know, that you've been looking for, it seems like it, maybe it's, it was, it's not like it was, there, but it's there, but for some reason you've just not been able to find it. And I am praying right now that that which you are looking for, you will find in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you even right now, Father, in Amen. heaven, that you are, you are giving her 
the ability to see that which she had been looking for that she could not find. It's almost like it's, uh, it's, it's just hidden there. And I hear also that uh, there's so much more in you than you even appreciate of yourself. Mm. So Father in heaven, I just thank you that there's much more to her than she even sees. And so I just pray, Lord, that uh, you will open uh, you'll open our understanding. You know, sometimes we devalue ourselves. Uh, instead of us, uh, people see more in us than we see in ourselves, and it's, it's very common, but this is what I hear. I hear that it says, I've even deposited more in you than even you know, but that uh, don't belittle yourself is what I hear. Don't, uh, see, uh, you know, see you, see yourself as I see you. See the ability that I put in you and walk in boldness. I hear walk in boldness. In the remoshki, the risky. Walk in boldness is what I hear. That don't, uh, don't let uh, circumstances of life or things that have happened, uh, don't let that beat you down to where you don't know yourself anymore, to where you don't, you don't understand who you are, even in God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see where you've been a person, uh, the God, you know, the hand of God has been on you. But because of things of life that has happened, you, you shy back from walking in the fullness, even of what God has. And then the times you even question yourself, did God even ask me to do this? Or did God even say this? Or was this something that I imagined? And I want you to be encouraged, find your place again. Is what I hear. Find your place again. And don't allow the affairs of life even to take away that intimacy in God. Even to take you away. You, there, there was a time you had so much faith. And you could believe, you believe God for many things. But because of things of life and, and the weather, you've had to weather the storm. I don't know what kind of storm, but you've had to weather that. And so when you look, at, it's, it's shifting you from the kind of level that you were before. And so I'm praying right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that she will, Oyeme will find her place again. Amen. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that no matter the storm, that's, uh, the spies, the raging storm, I thank you that you are the master of the storm. Yes. And so we pray that peace be still in the Amen. name of Jesus, that the raging storm be still now in the name of Jesus. I Amen. thank you, Lord, that she will take up the mantle again that Amen. you put on her life, that she will remember the things you did before. And she's going to Amen. walk in that and she's going to be bold again. She will not allow everything that's happened around her even to take away a place in you. And Father, Amen. thank you once again. You will manifest your power even Amen. in her life in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. So Father, Amen. we bless you. We give you praise Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. Thank you for Oyeme, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that she's taking her rightful place even thank in you, you again in the name okay. of Jesus Christ. I Amen. see you. It's like, it's like as I look now, I'm trying to give you a cup of water. I'm trying to give you a cup of water. And so I'm saying, I'm asking what for, and he says you're in a thirsty place. And, and that water is to quench the thirst. And so, Father, thank you for the water to quench the thirst. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for the water able to quench the thirst. So, Father, we bless you, and I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you right now for Lovetti. There's a peeling. I hear peeling. Uh, there's a peeling so that I can get to the real person, says the Lord. You know how you peel the onion, you peel the skin off. And I hear that God is, uh, God is, is, is like some layers have covered uh, Lovet. It's almost, it's almost similar to what I was saying about you, but it seems like uh, so you've allowed some layers of things to cover and God says I'm peeling those things I'm peeling mm -hmm. them one by one mm -hmm. and, I'm peel and I'm peeling those things off of you love it mm -hmm. so, that you, so that the real love it can shine forth so that the real love mm -hmm. it even can be seen 
in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus Christ. I thank mm -hmm. you. I hear that the Lord is saying that I want you to know, Lord, that my hand is not short. Oh. My hand mm -hmm. is not short. Oh. Neither is my ear heavy. That's what I hear. That I cannot hear you. He says sometimes you feel like you've been forgotten. But he says, uh, my hand is not short. So whatever it is I need to do, I can accomplish it and I can do it. I don't need the help of a man is what I hear. I don't need the help of a man. I can use a man, but I can accomplish what I need to through the man I want to use is what I hear. And so I'm praying for you right now that you just trust the Lord and know that his hand is not heavy. Neither his hand is not short, neither is his ear heavy that he cannot hear you. And God is hearing you and God knows. And he says that, you know, the things that have a, I'm looking at you like how you, you know, our names are written in the book of life. And I, I, I see like if for each of us, there's a book. Jesus said in the volume of the books that's written about me, I've come to do your will, O oh God. And so I hear, I, this is what I'm saying. I'm looking at your book. It's like I see, I'm looking at your book. And so even as I'm talking to you, the, the, uh, the impatience, the, the frustration, it's almost like some things have been spoken to you, but you are working in chapter four, but God spoke about some things in chapter seven of your book. And so now you are in four, but you are saying, I mean, I've waited forever, it hasn't come, but there's five and six yet to be accomplished is what I hear before the seven. But God can give us a glimpse, just like God gave uh, Joseph the glimpse. And like I said, you know, I, still, I, don't see the, I don't see how Joseph was sold into slavery. I don't say it anymore, slavery. I say Joseph was sold into destiny. Mm. Is what it was happening because in the pit, is sometimes you feel like you are in the pit, but the pit sometimes it is needed to get you to that destiny. And so the frustration sometimes, I mean, how long shall it take? Just think of it the way I've just presented it to you that I'm in chapter four, but I'm running after seven. But then leave seven alone right now and let God work the five and the six. And then seven is going to fall in place. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand, love? So I want you to be encouraged that, you know, God's hand is not short at all. He knows exactly what he's doing. Mm. Even in the midst of what seems like your frustration, God is still accomplishing his purpose. Do you understand? Yeah. It says yeah. that the word of the Lord tested Joseph until the time for it to be accomplished came. So the word of God may be testing you right now. You may be going through testing, serious testing. But it doesn't mean God is not working. It's still working. But that the testing is still part of destiny. It's what is going to propel you into where you need to be. See, if Joseph had said, you know, if they had gotten him like Reuben wanted to do, if Reuben had been able to get Joseph out of the pit, can you imagine how miserable that would have been? That's true. Because he needed that pit for them to sell him to the Ishmaelites. Mm. And so I just want you to understand that whatever it is that's so hard, even in your life right now, that's so challenging, that it seems like he's going to break me. I want you to understand that you will not be broken. Amen. That, you know, that God says, have faith. He said to, uh, to you know, to Jairus, he says what? Don't be afraid. Just have faith. And so that's what I want to say to you. Just have faith and trust God. That in it all, God is working it all out. You know, it's like a person who is trying to bake a cake. You put all the different ingredients. But if, if the flour is missing, there can be no cake. But if there's flour and there's no egg, the cake can still be cake. Do you understand? So all those things, that they're going to work for your good. They're going to come together and the pieces. And every promise of God is going to prove true in your life. I just want to pray for strength for you right now. Father, I pray for strength for Lovette to, to accomplish what you have called her to. I thank you, Lord, that as just as you've said that your hand is not short, neither is your ear heavy that you cannot hear. 
I thank you, Lord God. It has nothing to do with iniquity in this situation. It just has to do with destiny. That whatever is going on seems slow coming through for her. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that she can trust and she can believe that all things are working together for her good. Thank you, Lord God, that she sees everything in a different light. That mm -hmm. at the fullness of time, is going to speak. The vision will speak and it will not lie. Thank Amen. you, Lord God Almighty. will bless you for her life. Mm -hmm. The unnecessary burden, Lord, also that she may be carrying. Father, we remove that from her. And we cast Amen. it at your feet, Lord Jesus, that she's not going to carry the body you haven't called her to carry. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we bless you. And we give you the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. And I want to pray right now for Olamide. Olamide, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even as I'm praying, it's like I see a refrigerator, you know, like a fridge. And Olamide, you're opening that. And as I look inside, there's so many different things in there. Nice things, drink, food all kinds of stuff in there. And this is what I'm looking at it and I'm hearing. And the Lord says, even that solution is in your hand. And I'm hearing that I've put so much in front of you. I've, I've, I've supplied you with so much, but you have to believe and you have to open. And this is the encouragement I want to give you. I don't know what it is that you want from the Lord or what it is you've table. It's almost like I see a piece of paper in front of me and I see one, two, three, four. I just see uh, things. I see requests even on it. And this is what I want you to do. Whatever it is that you've been asking or you need, I want you to just make the list. If you already have the list, I want you to go through each one and I want you to say, God, I'm receiving this right now. Because it's like the refrigerator, the fridge is right there. Everything is in there. But until you opened the door, it's when you open the door and you now look and say, wow, the thing I was looking for, my drink, my food, my this, my that. And so I want you to be encouraged. I want you to now pick up that, the list, and I want you to look at it and say, God, I thank you for this. I thank you that it's manifesting right now in my life. Today, today is a day of my deliverance. And today is a day of salvation for me. That all those things will no longer tarry. And I want you to call each one out, one at a time, by name. I want you to call it out. And thank you, Lord God Almighty. Why does the word for me come to me? I think somewhere down there, there's a for me, there's a for me. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even that uh, there's, a, there, there's a person by name for me that you are going to either meet along the line and if it's not, if it's somebody that you already know, but there's a situation that God is going to use you to bring clarity to, even concerning mm -hmm. this person. And so, Father, I just thank you right now for that for me that's connected even to uh, Olamide. I thank you, Lord God, that, uh, she, Olami, that she, you have the solution even to that situation in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank mm -hmm. you, Lord, that, that from this moment, as, as the prophetic vessel of God, I declare over your life that even as you call out the whatever it is, all the requests, as you call them out, you're going to start to see the manifestation, even of the answers, even right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I see you like you're trying to get in a vehicle, uh, and, and it seems like the vehicle is, is like it's full. It's like uh, all the seats are taken and you're trying to get in and you're saying, but I mean, how can I get in? There's no space. And all of this, it's almost like you have a, a, a three-seater in the back. But you're trying to get in and all of a sudden there's an extension. And instead of it being a three-seater, there's a fourth a four seat that God creates, it becomes a four seater. And this is what I hear that even in the place where it seems like there's no uh that there's no space. I hear even in the place where it seems like there's no space for you, he says, I will create the space. Mm -hmm. I will create the space. I will make mm -hmm. I will make an opening. There's something ahead of you that it seems when you look at it or when you look at the situation. It seems like there's no opening, but God is creating the opening. He's making an extension 
or something. I don't know if they're going to, so this thing has closed or whatever. He's going to make an extension. He's going to create an opening for you where it, there shouldn't be an opening at all. It's by favor. It's by favor. And so, Father, yeah. even right now, I thank you that by favor, you create an opening where there should not have been an opening at all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, for this, uh, this encounter also with this Fumi along the, along the way. And I thank you, eternal God, even for accomplishing your purpose. And I see, I hear that you are, you are light as and you cannot be hid. He says, mm -hmm. do you put the light under a bushel that you, do, you don't do that, you know? So thank you, Lord, that our light will shine. Amen. Our light will shine and our men will see our good works and they are going to glorify you. You no longer can be under, you no longer can be hidden in the name of Jesus Christ. So Father, yes. we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for bringing her to the top. I give you praise. I see the word elevation. I thank you for elevating her in the name of Jesus. Thank you for elevating Thank you for bringing about elevation for Lamide, even right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Amen. for elevation. We bless your name. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for Olamide. Olamide. I thank you, Lord, that this is a season for her to enjoy the wealth, even that you have in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we bless your name. We give you praise. Thank you for precious right now. Thank Amen. you that she is precious in your sight. Thank you, Lord, that she's precious in your sight. Indre Makoshande, Rindre Makora, Basandre Mashkiledina Surakala. I thank you for one that will stand even before many. I thank you for one that will stand even before many, even in the days ahead. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that there's a place, there's a there's a platform for precious. There's a platform even for precious. There's ministry ahead of this precious. I thank you, eternal God, for ministry that is ahead of precious. I thank you that uh, for miracles, thank you for miracles and for wonders, even that's going to follow this ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eternal God, I thank you for eyes, uh, the eyes of a seer. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, precious, uh, I don't know, but I, I, I see that is, you have the eyes of a seer. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, I thank you, Lord, that, uh, that she sees and that she will understand even that which she sees. In the mighty yeah. name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I thank you that when she lays, she lays hands on the sick, that they will recover. In the yeah. mighty name of Jesus Christ, eternal God will bless your name. And we give you all the praise. We give you all of the glory. And I see a lot. I see like coins. I see like gold coins ahead of me. I see like gold coins, and this is what I believe for you. I believe that a lot of resources will fall in your hands. I see wealth ahead of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we thank you, and we give you all the praise. We give you all of the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I know the last time somebody said, oh, I'm a woman and she's talking about a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the man. It's not about the woman. It's about the word. It's about the exactly. word. It's about the word. So just receive the word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God, God bless you. I'm done. I think I covered everyone, right? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you all blessed? Yes. yes. Honestly, I am overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. Much, much blessed. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Mm. It's been Thank you very much, ma. God bless, Amen. Amen. God bless you, ma. Jesus' name. Amen. More option to function, more anointing. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Indeed, God has blessed you. Can I, can I hear your hallelujah? Hallelujah. If that God has spoken to you, can I hear your hallelujah? Hallelujah. Last Tuesday, we prayed that. God should speak to us one by one. Now, mm. you can see that God has answered our prayers. 
Yes. Honestly, yeah. it got to the point when her mommy was sharing, I almost shed She was just, by the Spirit of God, she was on point. I almost shed tears, you know, when she was ministering. And this is to, to let you know that God himself came down to speak to us. She, God only used her also. So what you have had, if I were you, you will not begin to put, you will not begin to work with, the, engage what you have had in prayers. Because God has spoken unto each and every one of us. Once again, mommy, we say thank you. Praise the Lord. Very, very much. For being instrument in the hand of God. In fact, a prophetic instrument in the hand of God for us. You know, God gave us a oh. word. God gave me a word. That was Osea chapter 12, verse 13. That by a prophet, God, God uh, led children of Israel to Egypt. And by a prophet, God preserved. Uh, you have been a prophet on this platform. I am not taking you for granted, man. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. You are a Thank you. Prophet. You know, uh, let me just make this statement. God has been using you as God has been using you to me as um, whenever temptation comes to me, either to fall into sin. I will tell myself that thing. Austin, if you should fall into sin, God will expose you to to pastor. So so because of that, I keep myself so that God will not expose me to. Uh, I thank God that He keep me on. Amen. God Amen. Call on our sister, sister Cordelia Baba, to give a vote of appreciation.